Good morning, and welcome to the first episode of Basinger's Tournament Vlog. Figured I'd show you guys a quick in the bag. I've got a tournament this morning in Knoxville, Tennessee. I'll tell you more about the tournament uh, on the way, but I figured I'd give you a quick update on my bag. I ran this idea through on the YouTube and Facebook page, and everybody seems to like this idea, so I'm going to attempt to do a tournament vlog. Hunting, obviously, with Adams. I've got <clears throat> three soft Adams. I'm using purple. I always put with purple. Uh, I've got a uh, Envy. It's a soft Envy. It's a little bit beat up. I got this from Noah Osborne. Huge thank you for hooking me up with this. Uh, and I've actually got a replacement Envy right here because where this one's so beat up from uh, my buddy. Disc Golf Dude. You'll know him as Disc Golf Dude. I know him as Pat LePage, my good friend. Uh, this is going to be going in the bag today. I've never thrown it, but it's going to be the first time I throw this. One. <clears throat> For my throwing putters, I've got a Nova. I've got a Wizard, Gateway Wizard. A Axiom Soft Proxy. Axiom Envy, Plasma Plastic. A Axiom Envy and as a soft Envy, soft neutron. A deflector. Got this from Daddy Disc Golf, Josh Scarf. Huge thank you to you. Uh, I lost it on top of a roof one time, as you can tell by the color difference on the sides. <clears throat> Great disc. I've got a neutron resistor from MVP. An Axiom Vanish. Another Axiom Vanish. This one I don't use a whole lot, but it's in there just in case I need something to flip up and ride straight <clears throat> with a little bit of fade. Of course, in the bags I always got two of the first run fission photons. Flat top, as you can see. They don't make them like this anymore. I've got four of these. Um, two orbitals from MVP. That's my roller disc. One really beat in that I can throw it about 70% 70, 70 and get it to turn, turn, turn. I've got a Axiom Crave. Two streamlined discs. I've got the Trace and the Drift. A Drift is fairly new in my bag. I uh, see now that I actually need to mark it uh, with my initials before this tournament. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, Trace was a disc we did a review on and I actually didn't I wasn't sold on it I didn't really like it when we first did the review, but I kept working on it more and Obviously you can tell I really like it now because it made it to the bag I've Got a Dynamic disc defender for really overstable shots My long distance shots are my MVP catalyst neutron and a neutron octane and last but not least is an inertia. Uh, I really am not using it that much. It's kind of the trace is kind of, or not, I'm not the trace, the uh, drift is kind of replacing it in my bag. Uh, once I get a little more comfortable with this drift, I believe the inertia is going to be completely out. So uh, that's a quick update on my bag. I just wanted to let you know starting this season, uh, as you can see, most of it's MVP, Axiom Streamline. Except for three, and I'll show you why those three. Because of this, this, and this. I know, I know I'm biased, but it's okay. Uh, I had to have those stamps in there. I actually need to mark that as well. So I'm going to set these aside, the ones I need to mark, and I don't know how much filming I'm going to get to done get done today, but. I'm going to go pick up Riley, and uh, I don't know if he wants to be in the tournament vlog with me, but I'll find out. It's about 5.15 a.m. right now. We've got a long drive to pick Riley up, and then we've got to go to Knoxville, so I'll tell you more about the tournament on the way. Thanks for tuning in. Okay, I'm in my car, about ready to leave to pick Riley up, and wasn't prepared for this, but the uh, windows are frozen. I don't know if you can see that. So... Uh, I guess it's a good time to tell you a little bit about the tournament while the car heats up. It's uh, Knoxville, Tennessee. Uh, it's the Knoxville Ice Bowl, 2019 Ice Bowl. Uh, we're going to be playing at Victor Ash Park 
and Morningside. We're starting off in Mo at Morningside. Riley and I are playing the intermediate division, so this uh, will actually be my first, or maybe second, intermediate PDGA tournament. Uh, I'm gonna start out the year in intermediate, and uh, right now I'm sitting at 874 rated as of actually February 17, 2017. Uh, not February 17th. February of 2017 was my last PDGA tournament. So, damn near two years. Uh, it's January 26th now. So, uh, right at two years it's been since my last PDGA tournament. So, this is going to be interesting. We'll see how I do. Uh, my goal for the year is just make my rating higher and be satisfied with my rounds. So, we'll see how that goes. I really like Morningside and I really like Victor Ash, both good courses. So uh, hopefully I can score good there. And uh, I'm, I'm trying to make at least a top 10 finish in an intermediate today. So it's gonna be tough considering it's my first tournament back and not trying to make any excuses, but a few days ago I fell. I don't know if you can see the bruising on my hand, but I fell on the course and my hand landed on a rock. And then my body, my large body, landed on my hand so uh, I got home and realized there's a huge knot on my hand I thought there was a broken bone for a little while but thankfully there wasn't I can move it but I've actually not thrown a disc since I did that but it, it's kind of hard to see in here but it's kind of uh, discolored on the left side of my hand and a little bit puffy not trying to make excuses but uh, that could affect me hopefully not we'll see like I said I haven't thrown a disc since I did that, so we'll see how this goes. I have done some putting practice, and really no problems there, so hopefully it'll be okay. But this frost is almost off the window, so let's go get Riley. Nothing to get you in tournament mode like going fast on old country windy roads and listening to some heavy music. <laughs> okay, I got Riley. I've received the package. <laughs> we stop for some breakfast, get some more juice. Get woke up, got a biscuit, and we're gonna head to Knoxville now. We're starting at, at Morningside Park. We filmed, uh, what was it there? The, the Build Your Bag Challenge. Yes, Build Your Bag Challenge. So I'll put a link up here. I'm holding it right here. So uh, we're headed to Morningside. We're gonna get a little bit of practice in before starting up. So I'll probably film some practice. Do you see these lights behind me? That's right. Getting a ticket. 60 and a 40. My bad. Dang it. Going fast on old country windy roads. Going fast, going fast, going fast. Getting a ticket. Dang it. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. You just. Okay. Me and Riley made it to the course. We're on Morningside. This is hole one here. I don't know if I'm going to get any footage during the round. I don't really want to disturb anybody, but figure I may do a few practice holes with me and Riley. So uh, we're gonna throw some here. We're signed in, ready to go. I don't know if I said it already, but Riley and I actually got put on the same card, so that's really cool. We're gonna be playing together here at Morningside. This is a hole that during our practice round a few, what, two, three weeks ago, maybe a month, uh, I went out OB, so I'm gonna try not to today. This is still just a practice round, we'll see. Oh. 
I saw almost aced it. Wow. So it's tournament time. Me and Riley start on hole nine. Don't think I'm gonna get any footage during the round. Just wanna try and be respectful of everybody, so I'll check back in after the round. Okay, uh, round one is over at Morningside. And uh, let's just say we could have both done better, don't you think? Oh Ronnie, yeah. Ronnie. I like yeah. <laughs> I, I finished with uh, even 54. Uh, uh, it's all threes, so. Even 54, I had a 20 foot putt on my last hole and uh, missed it. So I, I would have tooed, but unfortunately wasn't able to. Riley, you finished with uh, 61. 61. So we could have done better. We had some rollaways. I had one roll away on hole 14, which caused me a stroke. And then I had a chain out on hole two, which caused me another stroke. So uh, I'm feeling like my skill level today would have left me uh, two under. So. I'm not that upset with it, but it could always be better. Right. Oh, yeah. We're going to go get some food and eat lots of food. And then go play Victor Ash, where we filmed uh, bag tag match number three or four, I think. Something like that. So check that video out if you want to. There's going to be a link up here. We're going there now. Okay, so as you can see, we kind of forgot to finish our tournament vlog. Um... We didn't have a good second round at Victor Ash, right? Yeah, that was bad. <laughs> we didn't get to play on the same card, unfortunately. But uh, I shot a 58, four strokes over par, and shot the same, right? I got a 58, too. 58 as well, so not a very good round. I, I just couldn't get off the tee. That was my problem. My, my approaches were really good, better than normal, but I just couldn't get off the tee today. And... Uh, yeah, it was a rough round. I, after Morningside, I was like, good, I can, I'm can, i par, and I was 100% sure I could shoot better at Victor Ash. Nope. Didn't happen. So That's it. I will update. I'll tell you our round ratings and stuff once they're up later tonight or maybe tomorrow. And, but that's all. I'm dropping Riley off now. Thanks. Okay, it's the next day, and I figured I'd just update you guys on the ratings and stuff and my placement. I finished 16th in Intermediate out of 37 people, so not too good, but not too bad. Um, overall, not pleased with my performance, but, uh, you know, there's always next time. Uh, my round ratings, I wanted two uh, over 900 rated rounds, and unfortunately I didn't. One was, first round uh, par at Morningside was 903. And the second round was 880, so kind of rough. Still higher than my current rating, so it should go up. Uh, last round, I got to play around with uh, a guy named Ross Bates that actually had uh, a BDGC stamp suspect in his bag, and I thought it was kind of cool. Uh, he actually got me to sign it after the round, so that felt kind of cool. Uh, a very, very humbling moment just to see that we're helping people out on courses, see the local courses and everything, so it was cool. Ross, it was a good time playing around with you, man. Uh, wish I could have played a little bit better when I played with you, but you know, uh, it happens. You see the channel, you know how we throw, so, uh, real cool of him to be actually throwing it. I remember at one point in time, uh, I saw it on hole one. I was like, that's so cool. Just seeing one of our discs out there thrown by somebody else. So it was nice. Uh, shout out to the tournament director, uh, Todd Reagan. Uh, he got some sweet discs in a beautiful, you can see what I got here. It's a beautiful Axiom Insanity. It's like a cotton candy colors. Absolutely love it. Sweet little mini as well. Uh, it's a 159 gram Insanity, which is, I'm not going to throw it, that's for sure. Uh, it's going to be a roller, definitely, but uh, uh, it's pretty, so I'm just going to keep it aside. But That's it for the uh, 2019 Knoxville Ice Bowl uh, tournament vlog. If you like this, uh, please comment, let me know uh, what you think I should do differently. Maybe add some. I wanted to record some during the rounds, but I really didn't want to get in... Uh, people's you know get in people's head and get on people's nerves so i wanted to be respectful um i'm gonna start looking at maybe more of the other i know a lot of the tour professionals do 
vlogs like this. I haven't watched a whole lot of them, but I'm going to see kind of how they do it and uh, try and take tips from them. And uh, if you got any tips for me, what you think you would like to see in these tournament vlogs, uh, let me know. I did try to get some practice throws in on video, so there was some actual disc golf in the video. But let me know what you think of this idea. And uh, if you got any ideas, let me know. So thanks uh, for watching. As always, please click like, subscribe, comment, share this video with your friends, and help promote disc golf in your area as always. Thanks for watching.